Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. Very quickly, I want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, we have merch now that you're able to purchase. As you guys can see in the back, this is one of, um, you can be able to find this on my uh, merch store, uh, which is going to be in the description box below. And I have um, hoodies and sweaters coming out, t-shirts. You can find all of that on there. So anyways, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the month of August 2018. All right, Aries, for your communication, how you'll be communicating for the month of August, we have the Chariot card. So the Chariot card as communication definitely speaks about very quick communication, a lot of communication happening. Uh, this could be you communicating with the Cancer. Uh, this could be a person of interest, or this could just represent a friend that's very close to you, very loving and understanding. Again, I definitely do see you guys, I, the, for some of you Aries, there may be travel involved for the month of August. Um, give me one second. Okay, so for some of you Aries, I definitely do see some travel, but I definitely see unexpected travel. So it could represent, um, this could be good. Hopefully, I'm praying that it's good for you guys, but it could also represent a family or relative, someone that's close to you um, that may be maybe not doing too well. Um, and it's unexpected where you have to pick up your things and go to check on them or make sure that they're OK. Um, I don't feel very heavy energy, but I do feel a bit of sadness. So again, for some of you guys, it could be unexpected travel, travel that was not planned definitely um and it could be tied to a mother figure as well now for your um the element of earth <laughs> sorry in finances you have the strength card so the chariot and the strength card both major arcana so there's major transformation happening for you aries in regards to your finances for some of you guys it could represent finding finally finding the stability you've been looking for for others of you guys um, that have been working really really hard towards achieving a goal or to try to get to that higher ranking position I definitely see that being given to you for the month of August you're being promoted um, to a higher ranking position again like I said but I definitely feel that there is this victorious type of energy feeling like you've accomplished for those of you guys that currently have been working really hard towards a project I definitely see the manifestation and it coming to fruition for you guys for the month of August so very very beautiful now in regards to wow in regards to the challenge for the month of August you have the six of wands so the six of wands could represent again like I said you have a lot of you have a lot of powerful cards here Aries. I feel that there's a major transformation with you guys for the month of August in regards to your finances. But also I do see a lot of you guys returning home or going home whatever that represents. I mean it could mean going to your motherland. It could represent having to travel unexpectedly due to some type of illness from a relative or a family member. Um but again, you will come out or they will come out victorious. They will come out uh, recuperated and a uh, feeling like you've achieved or like you were there for them. Um, for those of you guys that currently have been dealing with anything that has to do with um, traveling or car, if you've been having car trouble, car issues, I feel that for the month of August, you're finally being able to fix whatever issue was going on. I've, you know, mechanics have been giving you the runaround or whatnot. You finally find someone that is honest and could be to the point and tell you exactly what it is that you need to get done. Um, for those of you guys that currently or in the past um, had some type of accident in regards to uh, driving or something like that, I definitely do see check coming in for you guys for the month of August. So again, I, I feel that there is something that's connected to like a bad type of... Um, not a good type of energy like something happened um again like i said you know an accident or something like that but finally the check comes through uh having to go to where you're from or what you consider home and it brings out a lot of beautiful emotions but at the same time it was due to like bad circumstances um but in turn what the the, 
broader picture that I'm getting is that it's to the best of your interest. It's going to come out to the best of your interest. So definitely, definitely good and positive feedback. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you have the Emperor card here. So Aries, my lovely Aries, this is your card. What does this represent? I feel that you guys are becoming aligned. I feel that a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of expansion for the month of August. Um, you finally start to see the wheel turn. You finally start to get momentum in regards to finances, in regards to relationships. If you've been struggling with relationships or not being able to find a person that can meet you right here, I definitely see that happening for the month of August for you guys. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that a cancer actually comes towards you. Uh, I definitely see a Leo here as well. So you may be dealing with a cancer or a Leo. Um, and again, I feel that this relationship solidifies for the month of August or by the end of August, it will become something official. Uh, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that, again, a lot of expansion for some of you guys, it could be that you're moving um, or purchasing your first home or moving towards a, to a new residence. Again, like I said, a lot of expansion, a lot of growth for you guys. Very, very beautiful reading. Um, now, in regards to your spiritual advice, um, the spiritual advice is the two of wands. So the two of wands, again, I feel that partnerships is going to be very important for Aries for the month of August. Expansion, growth, advancement. Uh, the two of wands represents obviously partnerships, but it could also represent expansion or that of becoming aligned and knowing almost like knowing exactly what it is that you want and not fearing to go towards it. So I definitely encourage you guys to be very focused for the month of August. But more than focused, I highly encourage you guys to go and follow that passion, whatever it is. Do it. Live the moment. Live it now. That's how you're going to be able to experience and actually see the results of your hard work and determination. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, lecture, and comment. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.